Hello, life part number nine. How are you? This is Healing Hands Tarot. Um, this is your energy check for the month. I hope you're all doing okay. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. I'm grateful for all your energy exchange. Every time you click on the like or you know um, subscribe, I do get a notification. And I obviously pick, click on your profile to go immerse myself in your energy so that my readings can better resonate with my soul tribe because that's exactly what you all are my soul tribe okay if you're not a part of my soul tribe there's no way on earth that you will come across this video all right so you coming across this and clicking on this just tells me you're a part of my soul tribe and i'm so happy you know that you you are and i hope you are happy that i'm a part of your soul tribe too so please if you want a personal reading send me a message um, my email is in the description box below the video. Life path number nine. If you don't know what life path number is all about or destiny number, please Google is user friendly. Go get that information. Type in what is a life path number, what is a destiny number, and you will get all that information. But in case you don't want to go through Google, you can check out my all, all other videos. All right, previous life path number nine videos. The intro is usually quite extensive. That's why I'm not doing this more. We're not going to be doing an extensive um, intro. But your number nine is all about adventure, inspiration, curiosity. It's an emotional number and it's all about wisdom, okay? On the downside, you can come across as unconcerned or wasteful or somebody who wallows in self-pity, all right? And I'm not saying it's you. I'm just saying that's how it can come across to people, okay? So let's see what energies we're going to be picking up for your life path number nine for this month. Life path number nine, there's something here telling you to let go over next. If it's not an actual person, it might have to do with something in your life that is not working, okay? Something that should be in the past that you're still holding on to. But here it says the time has come to clear your energy. Some of you are being advised to clear your energy, your auric field, all right? Um, salt bath water bath is also good put some you know sea salt in your water and take a, a, a bath with it. it can help you clear your energy or you can burn incense you know you can meditate you can also um do other things go on google and type in how do i clear my energy but the holy spirit is telling you that you need to clear there's something in your energy that is probably causing some kind of issues right now and the next card says let your friends help you okay ask for and accept support from other people so there's something here telling you don't shy away from asking for help from other people who might be in a situation to help you or if somebody offers their help do not say no accept it with gratitude okay all right life path number nine let's see what else there's something about the birds, and birds is all about communication, okay? This here is a number 12, which is equal to a, um, 3, all right? 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. 3 is a number of, you know, self-expression or communication. So it looks like there is a message coming in you're expecting or you will be receiving or you will be giving out to somebody this month. And the next card is a ring, and it's a number 25, which is equal to a 7. 7 is a spiritual number. 7 is all also a metaphysical number. It's all about using your intellect. It's all about solitude also and personal growth. Um, so, you know, what I'm getting, there's some kind of message that somebody, well, you know, this month will be Valentine, right? Wow. Maybe some of you are proposing. Wow. Okay. I don't know. There's the ring here. So what ring talks about is long-term commitment, all right? Something that you are willing to take a leap of faith with regards to, all right? Something that you are hoping will yield its fruit in the long run for you, okay? Whatever this situation is, I'm sure you, only you will know. I don't know. I am not a life path number nine. At least you guys can do the elimination method. I'm not a number nine. Maybe one day you all will figure out what life path number I am. But I'm not telling you guys. But I'm definitely not a life path number nine. So this will not resonate with me. It won't resonate with everybody who's a life path number nine as well. Only those of you that are a part of my soul tribe as you get drawn to this video to watch okay and it doesn't matter when the video was posted whether it was yesterday or a year ago or five years ago or just three days ago it doesn't matter whenever you get to it is when your spirit guides want you to get your message okay 
that's when you're meant to receive this message. Like I always say before you go on YouTube to watch all this energy reading or tower reading or whatever, say a prayer and then go in and start, you know, go as your divining led, ask your questions and go in there. And I can assure you, you will get your answers. All right. You, the card next, the next card that you have says the Queen of Summer. It says loving, comforting, emotional, intuitive. This can describe you or somebody you're dealing with. But it says listen to your heart. Intuitive insights you can trust. Taking care of others and perhaps too much. So some of you might be investing your energy in an ex that shouldn't be or something from the past that shouldn't be, okay? Um, and it looks like you're getting some kind of intuitive guidance or your, your spirit is nudging you to do things a different way but you're not listening. And spirit is like, listen to your heart. We're trying to communicate to you, all right? Listen, open your hearts for this intuitive insight that we're sending you with regards to a particular situation that you, you have going on in your life at the moment, all right? Looks like you're not even listening to your friends. You're not, you know, you're just doing you. Um, is what I'm picking up. You're not listening to anybody. It's like, but you're missing the mark regarding something. Uh, and then we're going back to this communication card of spirit is trying to communicate to you about something, but you're not listening. Some of you may want to go and commit yourself to an ex that is of no use. And spirit is trying to tell you, no, not this person. No, this is not going to serve your higher good. Let go of this person. It's not going to be that for everybody. Um, some of you will be, you know, go with that person. But, you know, in this case, it's saying release your ex. All right, so the next message is, is the three of winter. Three is a number of self-expression. So there's a lot about self-expression, about, you know, communication, about speaking up or, you know, communicating with somebody about something. And here it says reach out to others. Here we go again about ask for and accept support from others. All right. It says reach out to others for comfort and love. You will grow stronger from this situation. Sadness that will heal with time. So some of you may be going through, uh, you know, um, maybe going through some kind of heartbreak and you're finding it difficult moving on from somebody who is now an ex. Uh, maybe you're finding it difficult to let go of this energy or this character or this person, whoever it is. Maybe the person left quickly or suddenly, you know, out of your life. Some of you, it might be somebody you had a long-term commitment with or you thought you were going to be in some kind of long-term commitment. Maybe there was, a, you know, a message that came in that was really sharp that, you know, took you by surprise or broke your heart or something unexpected that happened. Um, but, you know, you're still in that energy and that energy can block a lot of good that is coming in, all right? If you're still holding to an energy of someone from the past, and you're unable to heal yourself, Spirit is letting you know that you can heal yourself. This is the Three of Swords in the regular tarot. It talks about heartbreak, all right? Three can also allude to third party. It doesn't have to, but here it's talking about somebody who is heartbroken, okay? And Spirit telling you that, you know, this will heal. The sadness will heal with time. Whatever you're feeling is something that only time can heal, all right? And Spirit is letting you know we know about it, so don't think that we left you there to be going through what Ever heartache or pain this is this is just for you to grow you know what don't kill us will make us stronger is what I'm hearing what don't kill you will make you stronger in this situation you're meant to learn a lesson all right so at the end of the day you're meant to ask yourself have I learned anything what did I learn ask yourself that question do a lot of soul searching when you sit down in your quiet moment ask yourself what lessons did I learn how did I contribute to this how could I have improved the situation? Could I have done anything else, anything better? If the answer is no, just do your soul search and your self-reflection, and that way you can wrap up or close out that cycle, all right? Life path number nine. I hope this will bring you some kind of um, healing, um, but I'd like to pull one more card here to see um, what else. Is there any final message for life path number nine? Holy Spirit, Archangel Collective. Higher Self for the Life Path Number 9 Collective. Is there any final message that we need to get for Life Path Number 9? There is obviously a heartbreak here. It's something around communication and being able to let go of something that is holding you back. Life Path Number 9. So what else do we need to tell Life Path Number 9? Holy Spirit, is there any other message for Life Path Number 9? Okay. That would have been my final shuffle. If nothing fell out, I would have been like, okay, let's call it a day. So life path number nine, this is the aid of Ariel. And it says, take good pride in your excellent work. 
Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. So this is just something on the side that Spirit is acknowledging you. Uh, it's time for you to move on with your life. In case some of you just got detached or are trying to detach from somebody, maybe you're questioning, should I leave somebody in the past? And maybe that's where they belong. Sometimes we have no business bringing the past back. But for some of you, it's always okay to go try again and see if you can do anything better to make the situation better. But in case there's no forward movement, you can always detach okay so you have a three and three when it comes to synchronicity you have a seven and a seven when it comes to synchronicity for you and you know basically what three three is saying is that um, you know my body and spirit for you to focus on all three aspects and don't neglect one for the other you know and then what seven seven tells you is luck is on your side you are on the ultimate spiritual path Keep doing what you're doing, all right? Keep doing what you're doing to align yourself. But open your heart to receive messages that you are being intuitively um, guided to, you know, things that you're being intuitively guided or messages you're being given intuitively, all right? Even in your dreams, sometimes it doesn't have to be in your dreams. It can be like a, a still small voice in your head. I know some people will be like, why am I listening to the voice in my head? It's your intuition, all right? Sometimes you're better off listening to it because it won't steer you wrong. All right, so let's close this reading out with an Archangel Michael prayer card, life part number nine. It says, forgive yourself, you've done nothing wrong. Wow, okay? So if you want to repeat the prayer, I ask that you help me let go of self-blame and forgive myself. Please guide me in releasing any toxic anger or fear towards others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for allowing me to feel centered and at peace. There's another reference here to be feeling centered, all right, uh, being grounded. And that's why I said I recommended that um, salt bath for you to ground yourself, okay? Um, life part number nine, whatever this is, this too shall pass, okay? It's nothing that will kill you. It's meant to make you stronger. It's meant to bring you to a better place and align you better with your life purpose, okay? All right, life part number nine. I hope this made some sense and resonated. I hope you got a message from here to understand that spirit is trying to communicate with you, all right? Okay, until next time, life part number nine. This is Healing Hands. Remember, please like, like, like. Click the subscribe button, leave me a comment, book a reading, send me an email. My information is in the description box below the video. I also asked to how to calculate your life path number automatically. I found that some of you do not even know, you haven't calculated it right, and some of you are thinking you're one life path number when you're another. So it might not be an awful idea to go double check and make sure, you know, you have the right life path number. Let the uh, machine automatically calculate this for you, all right? Okay, thank you, life path number nine. This is Elin Hands. Bye.